Okay, here we are at the smoker again. Um, this unit's a little bit different. It's an electronic device. It's an all-electric, 110 volts. But on top here, it has a control panel. It has an on-off switch, uh, a temperature set switch, and a time set switch. And on this unit, you don't have to pre-burn wood or, or make cinders and then put your wood chips. It has a heating, heating element. So what you do is just put your wood chips in this little tray, push it in, turn it upside down. It dumps the wet chips on top of the uh, element. Uh, you let it smoke and um, set your timer, for instance, for eight hours. And you can walk away and leave it. It'll do it all itself. And after the eight-hour period, it will actually cut itself off. And you set your temp between 90 and 100 degrees, and it'll maintain whatever temperature you set so that you can have a, a nice, even, consistent uh, smoking period and time period. We're ready to put the trays of meat inside the smoker now. Um, earlier, we went ahead and put some wood chips in it to, to start the, the smoke generation process. Uh, normally, I like to uh, put the smoke chips in last uh, after I've loaded the meat. That way you keep all the smoke out of your face and, and uh, you don't get choked from it. But we're doing the same thing here with uh, the three or four different types of meat. The chicken, the turkey, the salmon. We're, we're going to slide this tray in here. and. For the first 20 or 30 minutes, we're going to uh, smoke it with the damper closed. That way we get a lot of smoke on the meat. Uh, again, this is cold smoking. We do want to be between 90 and 100 degrees. And so after about 30 minutes, we'll open this damper to circulate more smoke. And then we'll reset our temperature to between 95 and 100 degrees. And then we'll set our, our timer for about eight hours, and uh, after that time period, it will automatically shut off, and we'll have a good uh, homemade quality jerky. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the uh, soaked wood chips that we soaked earlier, and we wanna put them in this uh, wood uh, tray compartment here. Now, on the um, heat selector here, I've actually got the temperature a little higher because I want to uh, when it drops it down in the tray, I want it to start smoking um, within just a couple of minutes. So once we get the unit smoking, then what we're going to do, we're going to reset the temperature down to about 90 to 100 degrees so we can start the actual smoking process without, uh, uh, you know, having a high heat temperature inside the box. So we'll put a few of these chips inside this container. And it doesn't take a whole lot because you can feed it several times. You slide it in there and give a little turn that dumped it into the burner tray and uh, it usually takes about uh, five or six minutes and that wood will start generating smoke and once it starts that once we create cinders then we're going to go ahead and cut the temperature down to about 90 to 100 between 90 and 100 degrees so we can get a, a good steady smoke okay we're back at the smoker now it's been about eight hours uh, we set the timer it's, it's shut off now we still have a little smoke coming out but that's normal uh, now, this unit here is a, a fire-fed uh, unit, so you're going to have to use smoke on, on your products in this unit. Um, this unit here, a bit, it, because it's electric, we can actually use liquid smoke in our, in, in our marinating process. And then when you put your racks of meat in here, you can actually eliminate the process of putting the wood chips in and just set your temperature between 90 and 100 degrees for about eight hours and your finished product's still going to be a real good smoke flavored product but anyway we're going to open this up and these racks are hot so we'll use a rag to pull it out and, and here's our finished product again we have the uh, the fish the salmon the turkey jerky the chicken jerky and the beef